Quick fun little mission. I hope some of that spear fishing footage turned out. That'll be the first spear fishing footage on the bike. tell by my snorkel mask and my frilly hair which you never see because I always had it up I'm about to go in the ocean I got my spear gun in hand the waves are raging behind me but the clarity looks really pretty nice there's a lot of sand in the water but um, in between like runs of sand kind of riptides of sand there's clear pockets and there's lots of fish in those clear pockets so uh, let's go get into some fish eee! So this was kind of crazy you guys there's no structure there's no piers there's nothing to get out into the ocean without just going through the surf it wasn't really too rough this morning you know you could kind of duck dive um, through like you were surfing or something like that and pretty quickly you get outside but you definitely got to go through a few waves they're just so much bigger you get down in there than they are looking from the beach you're like oh, i'll just go swim out through those waves and then all of a sudden they're pretty massive waves but we get out past them and right after we get out past this last break we hit a nice pocket of clear water and immediately two pompanos swim by me and they're not huge but they would have maybe been an eating fish because i was just looking for lunch but my safety was on so i had just been in the water so quickly that i wasn't really ready for them but what was really cool was that as soon as i hit the water i could just hear whale song and pretty often you hear whales when you're out there swimming and surfing and spearfishing and stuff but they were just really loud and vibrant this time and it was really kind of amazing so um you know i wanted to share that with you guys I'll just check this out for a little bit pretty wild right you could tell that they were like having a conversation that there's maybe two whales there having a conversation and we did get a chance to send the drone up right after the spear fishing session and we actually found what I'm assuming is a mom and a baby and I bet that's what the actual whales that we were listening to um, out there making those clicking noises um, there's a lot of whales and dolphins in the area but pretty cool to uh, to be able to hear them like that and then be able to see them just right out off the off the way Anyways, though, enough with these whales. Let's get into some spear fishing. Here's a couple of the shots that I took right after missing those pompano. I was kind of swimming around, saw another little pompano. I almost didn't even take that shot because it wasn't that big, but I was like, oh, I'll take him. But I missed, I missed the shot anyways. Um, just barely, though, if you, if you saw that. And um, so a minute later, here's another little pompano. Took a shot at him, and I was like, you know, five or six feet off. A couple of little mackerel. Missed those also. And I uh, started to get frustrated, feeling like I just wasn't really seeing fish. Um, you know, there's a decent little gap in between all of these fish, and I just wasn't really seeing much out there. Here's a little rooster fish. Um, that shot was a you know, kind of a Hail Mary. I might as well take a shot rather than not, but I, I knew I wasn't gonna make that shot. So then I'm just swimming around a little bit in some of the deeper blue water. I was a little bit frustrated that I wasn't seeing any fish and feeling like I was just kind of swimming around in a desert and there wasn't really um, much to shoot. And then all of a sudden I was just surrounded by like a hundred bar jack. And, and none of them are very big. They're little green, little green jacks, but they're actually really pretty good eating. And uh, my motivation really was to just go out and grab a, a lunch fish or something like that. And um, so I get this little jack and he's just freaking out. Um, I didn't dome him. He's on this line and he's just freaking out. And um, as I pull him up, he just kind of ties me up. He does some circles around me and ties me up and then pulls in tight and just ties up into my gun and just ties all the way up into just like a gnarly knot. And all of a sudden I'm just tied up in the water. And so I decided to pretty quickly 
try to put him down. Um, got a hold of him and went in and, and went ahead and just pulled out his gills a little bit so that he would bleed out and um, you know he would pass. But then I realized that um, I was kind of drifting around in the ocean, tied up in a giant you know cloud of fish blood with this little fish still freaking out enough to like attract something like ooh, what's that shiny little thing freaking out and um then i'm just basking in a giant cloud of blood all tied up with not really much able able to do so i wanted to get the fish off as quick as i could and get the spear back into the gun just in case something did show up wasn't really worried about it but you always feel a little bit better when you got a spear loaded and you're in the open ocean so there's the fish just a little bar jack um, got to throw him in the frying pan later, which is pretty cool. And this is me venturing back, back out. Um, I hadn't seen a lot of fish, so I was going to maybe stick around and try to pop a second one, but I was thinking that I was maybe just going to be happy with this little jack. Well, you guys, I got absolutely smashed by the ocean. I just got this little jack right here, but I did get a fish, so that's lunch or dinner or something. I'm gonna go fillet him up and add him to the uh, to the coffers and uh, get on with the next adventure today. Quick, fun little mission. I hope some of that spearfishing footage turned out. That'll be the first spearfishing footage on the bike. Well, guys, I just came for a little morning swim, maybe. Two minutes into me being in the water, the water was still really pretty murky. I hadn't even gotten out past the break and a nice sized jack came swimming right up into my zone and uh, I popped it without even having the cam on when I popped it. But I turned it on right away so you can kind of see me fumbling with the fish in the water a little bit um, right here and stuff. But um, I got the fish, got it back on the bank and um, I thought I'd show it off to you guys even though I didn't get the actual shot. Pretty decent size Jack Crabell. You can see that's where the, the shot actually happened. This side's a little prettier looking, so we'll show off this size. But pretty decent size Jack Crabell. It's an ocean jack, and um, it's like right at the exact size that is like big enough to um, feel like it's a good size eating fish, but isn't so big that I'm worried about it having parasites or worms or something like that. So this is gonna be our dinner tonight. Uh, fun little uh, fish to smash first thing in the morning out here, literally in the water, like two or three minutes when this swam by me and just bam, I was in and out, but went right in its head, bink, and right out the side of its gill plate right there, but basically domed it immediately in the water. It's freaking out a little bit, you can see in the, uh, the little footage that I did get, but pretty quickly uh, he bled out and died, so. Uh, cool, first decent sized fish with that spear gun. And uh, this is a, a nice little jack I can feel happy about getting in the water and shooting, so. Yee!